Hey everyone, welcome back to Optimize Ebony. Uh, another video in the ongoing Pink Gem saga. Um, this one's kind of a little bit of a sad one, at least for me personally. Uh, I'm sure you know there's certainly some people who feel differently, um, but yeah, it's it's been a it's been a, a rough day in terms of the. Ebony community, uh, one of the great all-time players and probably, in my opinion, the best YouTuber to do it, uh, King Singh, has decided that he is going to hang up uh, his, his coat and quit the game uh, in relation to the, the Pink Gem scandal and you know basically the, how Ebony has handled that. Uh, so you can see he's still 23 billion power. He was up well over 60 billion before this all started. Um, but uh, basically, he put out a video today saying that you know this is it for him. He's he doesn't like how how that was handled. Uh, I, he he does take accountability for the fact that you know this was this was not something that they were supposed to be doing. Uh, however, he thinks that the essentially the the punishment for it was handed out unfairly, and in particular, some of the people who had taken uh, most advantage of the system. Uh, uh, he actually calls out some some hot players, uh, HOT players uh, in there that had been taking advantage of it for months that had not actually gotten hit with uh, any of the power drops or. Uh, bans or anything like that. So, um, I do, I do kind of sympathize with him on that. You know, if everyone, if if you knew that there's that there were all these people that were doing it, and only some of the people that were doing it got caught and got punished, uh, regardless of whether it was it was the right thing to do in the first place. It, I mean the justice should be equivalent across the board. You know, it, it shouldn't be that that the people who started later get punished while the people who had done it for a long time before uh, were not punished. Uh, but it, yeah, I, I guess uh, enough about enough about that. Uh, you know, you can watch his video on his reasons. Uh, it has a little bit of a little quip uh, about, about uh, Genghis in it. Um, but yeah, uh, maybe was just a little bit, a little bit mad there. Um, but yeah, I, I did want to just talk a little bit about uh, Singh and what he's done with RSP uh, outside of this pink gem scandal. Uh, yes, I, I have my thoughts on, on that. I've shared some of them. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's outside of that. I would say that King Singh was probably one of the best, if not the best player to play this game. Uh, yes, he coined a lot. He had really good buffs. Uh, he you know, took advantage of basically everything that he could take advantage of to uh, advance in the game. But I'm talking about in terms of sheer raw game playing ability, I think he was probably the best to, to do it. Uh, I've watched his videos for a long time. Uh, he was, you know, a, a pretty good, pretty great inspiration to me, uh, and taught me actually a lot about how to try and build a team and to uh, utilize siege and uh, do a lot of the things that uh, that you know I'm still trying to to work on 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 doing successfully now. Uh, but I was able to essentially see how, you know, when when you get to this stage in the game, how how this these battle dynamics happen, uh, how T1 traps happen, uh, you know, he didn't necessarily go into the details of all these things, but just by seeing his streams and seeing how how these uh, these keeps were being rallied, how how the sequencings of things, the battle report analysis, all of those things really helped me understand the game a lot better. So. Uh, even though he started playing the game after me, uh, it, it definitely helped me uh, a lot. So um, I also think that it's it's incredibly cool how how he has generated this really cool environment on RSP. Uh, 
where you know they had a history of winning right you know even back before before the k40 update before um before it was truly pay to win uh i mean you can you can go back and watch some of his old videos uh where they were sending you know 12 million rallies up against you know really big keeps and w filled with rains and they they still they still won they still came out ahead uh their buffs weren't always better than than the the enemies they they just had a a, a much better understanding of of the game uh and that was that was one of the things that i was really impressed with him is that he was a true scholar of the game uh, he would talk. He would talk about about uh, kind of the intricacies and and testing out different different theories on you know maybe it's T1 mounts or T4 siege or T9 siege or you know big siege versus little siege like all of these different things that uh, some of which are pretty common knowledge now uh, when they were kind of first coming out it was kind of cool to see how how he would you know uh, test it out and 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 evaluate it um but yeah i i think regardless of what happened and it's unfortunate how how his exit uh came about but uh i truly again one of the best players if not the best player in in all of ebony and also probably the first and maybe only player that has ever zero successfully zeroed sir philip yes he was locked out of his count but still you know at that point that was an incredible feat so that's that's always that's always going to be one of those one of those things where you know people are going to look back and be like oh wow i mean even even when sir philip was only like 60 billion or something like that uh he was he was able to be zeroed and you know now he's 100 billion so i mean it could happen again but it would it would take a lot uh and yeah so just watching all of all of his videos was 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 really inspirational uh, it is going to be a, a big loss for the community uh, especially in terms of uh battlefield content uh it was it was great to watch you know them perform at a high level uh, a lot of the things that I would love to have gotten, I would love to get my team to be able to do, you know, the faster rallies, you know, being able to zero the big keeps, uh, you know, being able to do kind of in intricate things, um, be able to see those implemented uh, with a team that was, you know, really, really solid around him. Um, so I I do kind of plan in, in the future to kind of start doing a little bit more battlefield content just because i i'm personally sad that i'm not going to be seeing uh the the king saying rsp videos anymore um and i i feel like like i said it is uh super important for for people to see how these battlefield dynamics happen um and so i'll I'll be playing, you know, maybe one of two accounts and and kind of sharing my experience on on how to play different different rivals and uh and what the ordering of 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 rallies and stuff like that, how to read the scout report uh and and all that. Um but yeah, uh again, you know, sorry to see you go saying uh if I unfortunately I was never able to be on your team. I was dreading slash uh kind of excited for 302 to to make it into c1 um hopefully to be on your team one of these one of these times because uh, it seems like a, a great time but uh unfortunately that'll never happen so uh i wish you the best in in your business and 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 all the all the rest that you're doing outside of the game uh congrats on on actually leaving and uh yeah wish you the best and again just as a last reminder guys just do not pack load it's not worth the risk you're you're exposing yourself to risk on two fronts one on the pack loader side uh, because you need to give them access to your account um and then two on the ebony side so if ebony finds out about it they can handle you know they can hand down you know 
they can take troops, they can take gems, they can, uh, you know, ban your account, all, all these things. So really you're, you're, you're taking a huge, huge risk by doing that. Um, again, uh, I know I've, I've mentioned it before, but the, really the best way to, to, to get the advantage legally and, you know, fairly is by using Aptoid. So, uh, I know I've been stressing that, but uh, particularly in regards to uh, this pink gem scandal, it, use Aptoid, don't use a pack loader. It's just not u worth the risk, guys. I don't want to see other big accounts, other good players having to leave because of these things. Yes, it is a pay-to-win game, but there is there is a level of, of, of fairness in terms of, you know, people can't be paying you know, a, a tenth of the cost or or even a 50th of the cost of what everyone else is paying because that's, you know, that's just, you know, in the spirit of the game, not not truly fair. So uh, that's all I had for you guys. Uh, again, I wish Sing the best uh, and check out his video to see his thoughts on him leaving. Uh, but as always, thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.